Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Thomas and today I want to tell you a story. It's a little bit more personal, but I think it will relate to you and your career. I just want to share it with you because, you know, we're all do doing different paths. We're all, on this, we're all on our own journey, right? But there's some similarities and there's some overlaps in our own journeys that I think we should all share. So that way we can learn from each other so we can avoid making the same mistakes. And today I want to share with you why I regret not doing help desk. So when I first got started in IT in about 2014, 15, I was a little bit, uh, how do you say this? I was a little bit hesitant to do help desk because I heard it's like $11 an hour, $12 an hour, you know, and you just fix people's computers and reset passwords. I thought that doesn't sound like a very good job to me. I want to try to skip that. Um, I got my CCNA and then, um, I started getting, you know, interviews and job offers. And one of the ones I got was help desk. And I said, I'm not doing this for, you know, whatever, $16 an hour pass. Um, I got luckier later on, a few months later, I got offered a position to do infrastructure monitoring for $22. It's, it's essentially a knock, a tier one knock is what I did. Uh, but I got to set up the monitor. That was the big part. Um, I thought it was great. So I took this job, $22 an hour. I thought this was amazing. I can't believe I'm getting paid this much right now. Um, all of my peers that I, I studied with at Cisco Net Academy Community College, they are making 15, 18 bucks an hour in Orange County, California, which is really is, is good, but it's like, you, know, you need to do a little bit more. You need to make a little bit more to, to have a comfortable life here. So I thought I was, I was doing the right thing. Fast forward a few years, I started working as a network engineer. It's just a title. It was more like a high level knock engineer. And I didn't know a lot of basic computer stuff. Um, and it was a little bit embarrassing. Like I didn't know how to com connect my computer to, to the network for the printer. I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to, you know, RDP into some types of machines. And I was like, man, like this is kind of embarrassing. And I realized that I could have learned all this stuff when I was at help desk. And not to mention now, when I now look at jobs, I'm a network professional. If you look at a job for a network professional where I live in Orange County, California, you will see that the vast majority of them require some sort of systems systems kind of work, like Active Directory, printers, printer setup, at least join them to a network, and or SCCM, like managing several desktops. And you learn that stuff in Help Desk. At least you can get that experience in Help Desk. Um, I didn't have that experience. It was like gone for, it was, it didn't apply to me. So now I'm like this person who doesn't have this experience and I'm kind of let, letting myself, kicking myself in the, in, in the, in kicking myself for it because I could have made a little less then and then, but I could be making a whole lot more now and I could know a whole lot more now too. So I lost out on two things in the long term. Um, and not to mention, you know, I went to work for a pretty large company in where I live, it's a, it's a pretty sizable company. And the help desk team has like 30, 30 or so guys on it. So essentially I lost out on networking with 30 people and building those kinds of relationships. Cause now I keep track of those people. I've seen them on my LinkedIn. They've gone off to do really great things. Systems engineer at this company, cloud engineer at that company, you know, cybersecurity consultant, all sorts of opportunities have, have come for them. And I could have had a sh connection to them for my career long term. And you know, that opportunity, I don't have that. And something I want you to think about is that when you go work for a company, depending on the size, you know, you'll learn, you'll learn some stuff, you'll gain some experience, but you'll also get to network with people. And when you start to network with them and build that relationship, this is real networking, by the way, when you have that relationship with them and you guys go off and you do something else, your paths can still overlap and you can still help each other on your careers. Um, and I've had that multiple times uh, for myself, but I could have magnified that. I could have done more with that if I had, you know, maybe done help desk at a pretty large company where this was a very big, uh, big number of people to meet and get to know. That's something I want you to think about. And I, want you to, I don't want you to discredit the help desk job. I think it's, uh, a lot of people always say skip it. I used to say that myself. I don't agree with that anymore. I think there's just so much you can learn from in help desk and there's so much value from it. Even if you do it for like six to eight months and then jump off to do something else, I have nothing against that at all. But I really think it's it's better that you gain that kind of ground level experience, especially if you have, if you're like me, you have no IT experience whatsoever. I had zero. I was a sales guy before this. And when you start to get that kind of experience, um, it really will build up 
for your for your career. I highly recommend you do something like that uh, long term. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and if you are looking for a resume or if you need a resume, um, check out the link in my bio. I just released a brand new guidebook and resume templates called IT Resume Secrets. It's specifically designed for entry level, for help desk, technical support, and knock analysts, those types of jobs. So if you are trying to get into that kind of job, you don't have a resume or you want to revamp your resume completely, or you just don't like your resume and you want to see what somebody else is doing, check out the link in my bio. It's extremely affordable. Um, it comes with a 22 page guidebook with real world examples. So you can see how I've written resumes for people in the past and how I write my own resume, especially, and also how to customize your resume. So when you go to apply for a job, you know how to tweak your resume so you can just rank a little bit higher than everybody else and to win that key, that keyword game. So check it out in the link in my bio. Thank